I want to keep calm, but he just won't notice me. Why won't he notice me? Senpai. I notice you, Monica. <laughs> <laughs> You're like reaching out your hand. Yeah. Welcome back to Otaku Tuesday. Hi! On Book and Gaming. I'm Eric. I am Travis. And this is uh, Doki Doki Literature Club Salvation. Oh, it's just Doki Doki Salvation. It is Doki Doki Salvation. DDS? DDS. <laughs> Dentists! <laughs> Monica, DDS. Yeah. Um, I didn't mention it in the last episode. Yeah. But if anyone watching this has not seen our DDLC playthrough... I recommend going back and watching it because we're going to reference it a lot if we haven't already. I and guess also, that's true. this starts about halfway into the game. Yeah. So if you haven't seen DDLC at all, you're going to be like, well, what is, what's going on here? Well, I assume they probably have. I would hope so. If, they, <laughs> if they're watching this, if they're part of Otaku Tuesday, they've probably played or watched DDLC. I guess that's true. But it's just safe to say, like, if you guys haven't seen it, go watch it. Cause right. It's, but it's we were, we were just good. talking about how different we are now. <laughs> yeah, it's it's definitely going to be a little different because that was two years ago, and yeah. we've grown as personalities. M- mature boys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a mature boy. <laughs> as we play these weeby games. <laughs> I'm a manly man. Uh, now let me do a voice of a little girl. Yay. Did we? Did you read this? Uh, it'd be you reading it, but I don't remember. Oh. She fidgets in her chair and keeps a smile on her face the whole way through. Yeah. Hey, Monica. Glad you could join us. Hey, <laughs> hey. Hey, don't kill me. <laughs> sure, I guess so, Sayori. Hey, good thing Eric doesn't leave you hanging that morning, huh? Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Too far. <laughs> so I guess she's a bitch in this one. Oh, yeah. Before I could even react to what Monica just said, the cinnamon buns arrived at our table. The, Sayori, the, the rush of nostalgia just melted me away. Wow. You ordered cinnamon buns? That's right. Jump on my plate. I'm not a cannibal. That's so sweet, Eric. I can't believe you remembered. These are my favorite. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a kid, Sayori. Why don't you just grow up Why already? Why don't you fuck off? Oh, Whoa. <laughs> Sorry. That just... caught me off guard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting upset. It's going to make me not like Monica, isn't it? Good. No. Should have. Is this really Monica talking right now? This would have been fine coming from Natsuki, but Monica... She messed with your computer. You should be mad at her. Why is she being so mean? <laughs> I was just saying. Oh, please. Don't even play like that with me, Sayori. You and I both know how depressed you are. <laughs> Look at you. Quit acting like a kid for once. What the hell? I can't let this go on any longer. Okay, Monica. I don't know what your problem is, but I think you should leave. Oh, God. The eyes are back. <laughs> Oh, yes, of course. Sorry, Eric. Didn't mean to ruin your little date. Ha ha ha. Monica walks out of the cafe, leaving Sayori at th- and I at the table. Sayori is looking down at her feet. I'm starting to realize how badly this is getting to her. I should say something. What a bitch. <laughs> a <birth. laughs> hey, Sayori, it's okay. Don't listen to a word she said. Something is wrong with her. I'm sure she didn't mean any of the things she said. I'm at a loss for words. What else am I supposed to say here? Uh, I'm still in shock in those that those words even left Monica's mouth. It's okay, Eric. As long as you enjoy your time here, I'll be happy too. She gives me a faint smile. Do you think I act like a kid? Hell yes. <laughs> <laughs> what? What kind of question is that? So what if you do? I like you for who you are. I love kids. I, I mean... <laughs> Sayori gives me another faint smile. I decide there's only one thing left to do. Ah, I almost forgot. I grab a piece of the cinnamon bun and place it in Sayori's mouth. Ah, it's really hot. (laughs) Mmm, finger. It seems all of Sayori's thoughts just slipped away, and I proceed to join in on the nostalgia hype train and take a bite, too. Neither of us have had cinnamon buns for six (laughs) years. (laughs) Yep, just like old times. You know, I call you cinnamon bun sometimes, Sayori. Get in my mouth. <laughs> Sayori and I... J- <laughs> Wait, jump right to the point. <laughs> Sayori and I finish up at the cafe and start walking back home. Monica's words are still ringing in my head. Why was she there? What's her problem? She used to be so supportive and caring for Sayori those two, three days. <laughs> Did she really mean all those things? Sayori stays quiet as we walk home. 
Sayori? Don't forget you can still talk to me about this stuff, Sayori. I'm here for you. Oh, it's okay, Eric. Being here with you makes today a happy day anyway. I'm never going to worry about it ever again. Great. I'm completely cured. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Sayori gives me a big smile. I decide to trust her. I mean, things will be fine as long as I stay by her side. Always, I live with you now. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I'm not too sure how Sayori truly feels. It's off-putting how happy she acts sometimes. So Yuri gave me a knife yesterday. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> <laughs> Can I see it real quick? <laughs> Although maybe that's not so much of a bad thing. I'll just have to figure out this Monica situation on my own. Suddenly, Sayori calls out to someone. Hey, Natsuki. Oh, it's Yuri. <laughs> sure <laughs> enough. <laughs> and out of breath, Natsuki shows up seemingly out of nowhere. It seems like she just finished running a marathon. Oh my god, the aliens are attacking Ron. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, hey, oh, hey, hey guys. Where are you running from, Natsuki? You don't look properly dressed for a jog. <laughs> no, silly. Uh, ooh. Sayori and I help Natsuki over to the nearest bench and sit her down. Sit down. <laughs> you should catch your breath, Natsuki. You look really tired. Five minutes pass and Natsuki seems just about up to speed again. I was running from something. It's not any of your business now. Well, if it's your personal business, I won't bother you about it. Okay, good. <laughs> I almost need the text to go quicker, so I can, <laughs> I'm gonna like wait for it to show up so I can read it all in one. We hang out around the bench for a few hours, talking about school, the literature club, and Natsuki's cooking. Oh, guys, it's getting late. We should probably head home. Natsuki noticeably looks a little nervous, as if something was bothering her. Hmm. What's wrong, Natsuki? I'm going to come live with you, too. <laughs> Nothing. I'll just walk with you guys a little bit more. Sayori and I share a concerned look, but we didn't want to bug Natsuki about it. Yeah, so she's still got at-home problems. Right. Hooray! We're <laughs> home! I shake my head once more at Sayori's childish behavior, <laughs> but I guess that's the kind of girl she is. <laughs> what a loser. You're so childish. <laughs> <laughs> Grow up, Sayori. I'm going to leave you hanging. Uh... Hey, Sayori, do you mind if I spend the night at your place tonight? Sayori? I forgot your name. The San Francisco treat? Just for tonight, though. And I don't want you to keep me up all night with your silly games, either. Sayori looks shocked and excited at the same time. Yay, a sleepover! Can I come? Why so suddenly, Natsuki? Won't your dad get worried? Natsuki hesitates for a minute, looking to the side as if she was checking for something. Well, uh, don't worry about that. Gee, Sayori, you're always trying to get into everyone's business. Ah, oh, sorry, Natsuki. You're just so cute. I am not. <laughs> <laughs> Sayori knew exactly what she was doing when she said that. Ah, Sayori, I'm not cute. <laughs> and then Sayori died. <laughs> <laughs> Sayori, giggling, rushes inside her house and slams the door shut. Leaving an angry Natsuki no, on the front porch. No, you can't come in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Natsuki sighs and smiles. Man, that's Hayori. As annoying as she can be, she never fails to leave a smile on my face. Natsuki turns towards me, looking a little worried. Hey, Eric. Yeah. I don't know how else to tell you this, so... Here, just take it already. She hands me a piece of paper, looking away to avoid eye contact. What's this, a poem? Don't read it in front of me. Read it when you're at home. I keep having to wait because I don't want to. Like I want to know what she's gonna say before I start my one breath. All right, all right. Sorry. Well, I'll see you tomorrow, Eric. Have a good night. I thought she was spending the night. Yeah, I don't. Oh, we're going home. I'm dumb. I wish Natsuki a good night and head over to my house. She's going to Natsuki or Sayori's house. Yeah, we're Sayori, going home. Like slam the door in her face. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I open up the note and begin reading. So this wasn't easy to write, and it definitely wasn't easy to say in person, so this note is the best way I could do this. I've been having a lot of issues at home, serious issues. It's the reason I ran away from home today. My dad treats me so badly, he never feeds me, and he hits me a lot. I just wanted to let you know because I know I can trust you. I know you won't tell anyone. Just don't bring this up tomorrow. We can talk about this later. Who's it from? That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I had to reread the note at least three times. I it can't was pretty read. fast. <laughs> <laughs> it spoke to me too quickly. Natsuki is a victim of abuse? I have to solve everyone's problems. I never would have guessed. She seems like the kind of girl that can stand up for herself. 
I struggle to even imagine all the pain Natsuki must feel every day. Something needs to be done, but I can't go against Natsuki's wishes. I'm sure when the time is right, she'll talk to me about it more. She says she trusts me, after all. I place the note on the kitchen table and go upstairs to get ready for bed. I just hope Sayori doesn't annoy Natsuki too much. They can all just come live with you. You have this giant house that apparently no one else lives in. Right. Why do I feel so angry? <laughs> it's gotta be. That's Monica. Sure. <laughs> Why do I feel so angry? Why do I want to see them suffer? They aren't real. They aren't real. They aren't real. I have to stay strong. For him. I see you. <laughs> Shaking that ass. I know you can hear me. I will do anything to be with you. I just need to keep pushing forward. Why are these files so different? I don't understand why they keep coming back. Mm. Haha. So, oh, I skipped it. Sorry. Oh my. That's bzz, fine. Bzz, bzz. I wake up and can't help but immediately worry about Sayori. After what Monica said to her yesterday, she must be hurting. Natsuki with her, so Natsuki's with her, so she should be okay. Walk in the room, they both have ropes around their necks. <laughs> yeah. What happened? <laughs> Teamwork. <laughs> Despite that, I shoot a quick good morning to Sayori and await a response. Good morning. <laughs> How was the sleepover? I hope Natsuki treated you well. Of course. Natsuki cooked me dinner, and then we talked about the literature club all night before heading to bed. I wish I could have been there. Great. I'll see you outside in a bit. I take a quick shower, get dressed, and head out to meet Sayori and Natsuki. Yeah, Natsuki's in the game right now. <laughs> or Natsuki for all you people who want it pronounced correctly. Really? No, I it's can't not, say it's that. It's Natsuki. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. Hey, Eric. <laughs> Hey, Sayori. Good morning, Natsuki. Natsuki is standing next to Sayori in the exact same clothes as yesterday. Well, duh. Natsuki, you don't have your school uniform? No. I gotta run home real quick and change. Natsuki glances at me for a second after saying this. I shoot her a concerned look, but she quickly turns around and runs off. I'll meet you guys at the club later. Okay, bye. Sayori giggles. She should have gone home yesterday and picked it up. She's probably going to be late. What an idiot. I refrain from saying anything about her home issues. Clearly, Natsuki hasn't told her about it. Someone needs to beat her ass. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Come on, Sayori. We don't want to be late, do we? We walk to school. Not much is said between us, but Sayori seems to be in a much better mood compared to yesterday. We're already sick of each other. Maybe spending time with Natsuki was a refreshing experience for her. Yay! Classes seemed like they would never end today. <sighs> Literature club time. I'm actually really starting to look forward to going every day now. Except for Monica. <laughs> so I'd be getting concerned. <laughs> I swing open the door to the classroom to find all four girls already hard at work. Yuri making some tea, Natsuki reading some manga, Sayori doing Sayori-like things, and, May <laughs> and Mayonica. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, she's not here? Oh, thank God. You just said four. I didn't even notice she was gone. I'm the fourth girl. <laughs> <laughs> it zooms out and you're in a skirt. <laughs> Femsi is here. I walk over to the desk in front of the room to find a note. Oh, Jesus. There's, okay. <laughs> no, there's no words. What the hell? <laughs> My eyes hurt the more I try to read the note. I involuntarily crush the note and toss it aside. My poem! <laughs> that looked like Monica's handwriting. Is she all right? Perhaps I should go... <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, oh, my God. God. All right. I'm, uh, stupid game. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I can't click. <laughs> you can't? No, it wouldn't oh, let me. Oh, God. I guess Monica must be practicing piano again. Oh, my God. This is... All right. I haven't talked to Yuri in a while, so I decide to check up on her. Yuri's tea set is arranged on one of the desks, looking grateful, graceful as ever, even when she pours the tea. Hey, Yuri! Yuri jumps again, nearly spilling the tea over. Jesus Christ! <laughs> I stifle a laugh. Uh, I guess I should stop showing up so suddenly, huh? Oh, no. It, it's okay, Eric. I shouldn't be spacing out so much. Great. First time talking to Yuri in a few days, and I am already ruining it. <laughs> How have you been, Yuri? Yuri seems a little surprised at my question, as if something, if this, 
as if this is something she's not used to hearing. Oh, um, well, Natsuki and I have been getting along better lately. She doesn't talk about my giant breasts as much. <laughs> We've been talking, taking some time to learn each other's writing styles. I may not exactly prefer the simplicity of her writing, but I can see how, um, some people would like it. You should check out Monica's writing. It's great. <laughs> By some people, I mean idiots. <laughs> Well, hey, that's good. Glad you guys finally found some common ground. Yeah, we both want your D. It's <laughs> nice to have a real friend for once. <laughs> That'll make them get along. No, no, no I <laughs> don't consider you to be a real friend, of course. Th that is only if you want to be friends. Yuri shyly looks away from me. Of course we're friends. I wouldn't have it any other way. That's not a good thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> Yuri's expression <laughs> changes almost instantly as I say that. Really? Yuri noticeably gets excited, but quickly returns to her usual timid nature. Th that's a relief. Ah, uh, I said too much again. Sorry. That's okay, Yuri. I enjoy listening to you ramble. I can think for <laughs> British. <laughs> Yuri, Yuri turns... English accents. <laughs> Yuri turns away, clearly flattered. Really? Um... Yuri smiles. Uh, thank you, Eric. There is a moment of silence between us as she pours me a cup of tea. <laughs> hey, Eric, you didn't see Monica on your way here, did you? Yeah, she scared the shit out of me. <laughs> no, I didn't. In fact, I was wondering the same thing. Oh, well, Eric, um... Yuri scans the room and makes sure Natsuki and Sayori are out of listening distance. I'm not very sure if you've noticed, but Monica has been acting strangely recently. Yes, I have. <laughs> Funny you say that. Just yesterday, Monica completely blew up on Sayori. She just insulted her for no reason. Uh, maybe she's stressed about the club? I really hope we aren't stressing her out. Suddenly the door swings open. Oh my god. Sorry! <laughs> <laughs> I'm late, everyone. Got caught up in some stuff. Oh, stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is going to happen. She's right. The entire mood seemed to change when Monica walked into the classroom. Even the weather outside turned a gloomy gray. I'm scared of everything again. Oh. <laughs> Monica walks over to the desk in front of the room and starts writing something in her journal. Kill, 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 kill. <laughs> I quickly notice that all four of us are staring Monica down. Her bow is crooked. Her uniform is wrinkled. Even her eyes seem to look more tired than before. It looks like she hasn't been getting enough sleep. Perhaps something really is bothering her after all. Nah, she's probably fine. Uh, what are you guys looking at? Quit staring! Again, her sudden mood swing really catches me off guard. She must be really stressed out. I wouldn't talk to her. I, I would talk to her <laughs> if I could, but not when she's so irritable. Plus, the other girls are around. I have a feeling I have to talk to her alone somewhere. No, don't do that. I decide to check up on Natsuki. Natsuki is in her usual spot underneath the window reading Parfait Girls. Oh, hey, Eric. How was your day? Boring as usual, but nothing beats finally relaxing in the literature club with you and the others. Literature. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. I never get a chance to read manga at home or at school. Sometimes this place is the only time I ever get to read it. I think about the note she gave me last night. I'm tempted to ask for more details, but I'm sure she wouldn't like it if I brought it up in front of everyone. Oh, speaking of manga, I brought this new one I want to show you. Maybe we can read it together. But don't get any ideas this time, you pervert. Okay, okay, jeez. Keep your voice down, Natsuki. That's supposed to stay between us that I'm a pervert. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! Never bring that day up, you got it? Natsuki gives me a little shove. Sometimes I can never tell if she's joking or being serious. Come on, let's just go get it. I follow her over to the closet, in which I give her a respectable amount of space. Ugh, seriously? I hate it when she does this. Natsuki, what are you talking about? Natsuki comes out of the closet with the manga she was talking about. <laughs> Monica! Natsuki ignores my question and calls for Monica to come towards us. As she walks our way, she seems to have a pretty relaxed expression on her face, not looking worried at all. Hello, Natsuki! Is there anything wrong? Yeah, Monica, can you quit moving my manga around? It's getting really annoying. Monica, to Natsuki and I's surprise, starts laughing. <laughs> oh, please, Natsuki, cut the tsundere act already. You and I both know you're just acting like that to impress Eric. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Natsuki turns extremely red and slams her manga on the desk near her. Stop. What did you say? 
Ah, oh, you're so cute, Natsuki. You were always pretty cute that day you and Eric baked cupcakes together. <laughs> oh, she... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> she bops her on the head and she falls to the ground. As soon as those words left Monica's mouth, Natsuki pushes Monica to the ground and aims a fist at her. I'll kill you. <laughs> I dare you to say one more thing, Monica. I swear if you do, I'll... Ha ha ha, you'll what? Beat the shit out of me like your dad does to you? Natsuki lands a good punch on Monica's eye, making it swell up almost instantly. Yeah. Natsuki gets up and runs out of the club room crying. What the hell just happened? Yuri and Sayori rush over to see what happened. Monica stands up and looks straight at me. Don't you see, Eric? Natsuki's pretty messed up, isn't she? Monica, I don't know what the hell you're trying to pull, but you aren't yourself anymore. Why would you even say such things to Natsuki, and even Sayori? I've noticed you've been looking really stressed lately, too. Do you want to explain yourself now? Mm, why? <laughs> sure don't. <laughs> you need to stop asking questions, Eric. There's nothing wrong with me. Why do you keep spending so much time with everyone else? Don't you love me, Eric? Why don't you love me? Why won't you play with me instead? <laughs> Oh, God. (laughs) (laughs) Everything's great. I wake up to the sound of my alarm. Are we in... Is this the day before? Or is it the same day? (laughs) Oh, no, it's the day after. Wait, what happened yesterday? I remember Natsuki and Sayori had a sleepover. I walked into the club, and then... What? (laughs) My head starts hurting trying to remember, so I just forget about it. That's fine. I take a quick shower and head downstairs. To my surprise, Sayori was in my kitchen, holding a brown bag with the cafe's logo on it. Good morning! I hope I didn't surprise you too much. (laughs) No, everything's going great in my life. Jeez, Sayori. (laughs) I mean, I guess this is just like old times, huh? Yeah, I totally broke into your house all the time as a (laughs) kid. (laughs) Sayori nods and hands me the brown bag. I'm sure you could never guess what I bought you. Condoms. Sure enough, there were two cinnamon buns wrapped nicely in plastic wrap. One of them had my name on it (laughs) in permanent marker. (laughs) (laughs) The other one had Monica's? Well, that's really nice of you, Sayori. You even bought one for Monica, too, huh? Well, I feel like Monica has been really stressed out lately, so I thought it'd be nice to buy her one, too. Sayori smiles at me. It seems she's been doing way better ever since that day. If there's one thing Sayori is good at, it's making friends with everybody. I just don't want Monica to be sad or upset. Everyone deserves to be happy. We need more people like you on this planet, Sayori. Now come on, we're going to be late. Another day at the club. Yeah. (laughs) Great. Everything's fine again. I walk in the club room once again after a long day of boring classes. Still feels as nice as ever to have a place where I can relax with all of my favorite people and Monica. (laughs) All the girls are up to their respective tasks. Yuri making some tea, Natsuki reading some manga, Sayori doing Sayori-like things. (laughs) And Monica... Wait, this has happened before. Suddenly the door opens. Sorry I'm late, everyone. I got caught up with some stuff after school. The four of us look up at Monica and watch her walk over to the desk in front of the room. She looks as confident as ever, but she looks worse than before. Her bow is crooked. Her uniform is wrinkled. I'm getting some intense intense deja vu right about now. Yuri walks up to Monica and places a cup of tea at her desk. Um, hi, Monica. Yuri tries her best to keep her composure. Is she somehow scared of her? How are you feeling? Monica stops writing and then looks at Yuri. Ah, I'm fine, Yuri. I'm just writing some stuff down. Also, I'm sorry for being late. I was getting some stuff down for today. There's no need to worry so much, I think. What counts is that you at least made it here. Monica returns a smile towards Yuri and goes back to writing. Yuri stands there, unsure of what to do. Uh, well, I guess I'll go read now. Yuri timidly walks back to her desk and pulls out her book. Natsuki goes up to the desk. (laughs) Desk next. Natsuki crosses her arms and doesn't look too pleased. Jeez, Monica. Next time you should try to not be so late. What if something were to happen here? Ha ha ha, okay, I get it, but you don't have to worry so much, Natsuki. It's not like I'll miss school entirely or anything. Hmm. But next time you should, pri- you should prioritize a little better. Well, next time you should fuck off. 
Again, Monica responds with only a smile and returns to writing. But next time you should learn to take a punch. <laughs> Natsuki looks at Monica once more and turns back around to concentrate on, on her manga. <laughs> Oops! <laughs> she, con- she conjures manga from a portal. <laughs> Sayori walks up to the desk and I decide to go with her. Hey, Monica! I know you aren't feeling too well, so me and Eric bought you a little something. Hey, she threw me in. Thanks. It's a picture of us! <laughs> being happy together! <laughs> and look, there's no <laughs> you here! <laughs> and look, there you are alone in the corner! <laughs> Sayori beams as I pull the cinnamon bun out of the bag. Monica stands up quickly. Whoa, that looks really good! It looks so soft and tasty! You're so cute, Sayori! Sayori and I are both surprised at her reaction. Does she really like sweets this much? Monica realizes that we're staring at her. Quit staring at me, you idiots! <laughs> Monica suddenly stops and puts her hands over her mouth as if she just said something really embarrassing. I'm sorry, I don't know what came over me! Ha ha ha! She's losing it! I just need to get some more sleep! Sayori and I look at each other in even more confusion. She's probably like... staying up all night trying to learn Python shit coding stuff yeah (laughs) or she keeps like reliving these days over and over trying to say the right thing and nothing's working oh yeah well that because she's aware of when the reset happens right but none of you are so she's trying like all these different things and now she's trying to be nice so she's in like groundhog day yeah trying to (laughs) (laughs) well uh i'm glad to see you still made it yeah it's good that you made it here monica sayori tries her best to keep her usual smile So, Monica, you have said that you prepared something for today. Mind filling us in? Oh, well, I was thinking we could share poems again, but we should all go to a place and share them. The bathroom. Such as a park or next to the ocean. I feel like it would bring out more emotion in our poems. Yuri and Natsuki both overhear the idea and walk up to the desk as as well. That sounds pretty nice. I feel that a calm environment helps one's ability to express their emotions while reading the poem as well. That's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Outdoors sucks. Indoors is better. Well, Monica, that sounds nice, I guess, but I don't know if I could just go around walking around at night by myself. I think we should all carpool or something. You can drive. Natsuki's right. Do you think there's a better way we can all meet up? I mean, probably. Well, I guess we do always walk, don't we? Yeah. I don't know. Monica looks at Natsuki and Yuri. Well, as the president of our literature club, I am certain I have the experience to properly handle any situation ahead of us. She's going to try to murder you all. Oh, eh, I mean, um, I'm sure we'll be able to figure out how to do it. Monica looks down as if she was ashamed of being confident in herself. That's what, it, she, that's what she's been writing. What's that? She's like writing the things people are saying and how to react to them the correct way. Oh, yeah. It almost reminds me of how Yuri would eat, would <laughs> act. How come you got all shy, Monica? You're never shy. It's because we're like in new territory. She has no idea what yeah, the hell's going on. So yeah, she's falling back on emulating Sayori and Yuri and all that. Trying, right. Because you like them, so that'll work, right? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Sayori means well with that question, but it looks like Monica was offended by that. Oh, shut up, you dummy. Quit trying to get my business. Sayori looks about ready to cry. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, Sayori. I didn't know. I don't know what came over me. I should really start going to sleep earlier. <laughs> I decide to try and bring the conversation back up to speed. You're a freak. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, you girls can carpool together. I think I would just make everyone feel crowded if I went. Well, no, what? You idiot? <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind walking. I could use the exercise. I'm such a fat ass. Please compliment me. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Don't worry about that, Eric. I like big butts. <laughs> I'm sure we'll all fit. I'll sit on your lap. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, if you say so. It didn't take much. All right, then, it's settled. We're going to have a poem night at the pier. Make sure to get your poems done. Monica suddenly gets shy again. Ha ha ha. I'm talking too much, aren't I? I'm sorry. I just really need to get some sleep. That's okay, Monica. I mean, we all have days like these sometimes. No, we don't. It's high school, after all. Monica gives me an empty smile, still looking extremely tired. Well, I'll see you all tomorrow. Monica walks out of the room. Guess we should be leaving as well. We've only been here for like 10 minutes. Ready to walk (laughs) home, Eric? I guess. (laughs) Yeah, let's go home. I wave goodbye to Yuri and Natsuki, who are working together to clean up the room. 
I guess Monica's just really stressed out. Maybe tomorrow's poem session will help her. Yeah, that's what she needs. A good poem session. <laughs> <laughs> a nice hard poem. <laughs> I pat Sayori on the head. You always know how to see the good in people. I really admire that about you. Sayori blushes. Oh, stop it, Eric. You're too nice to me. <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> I give Sayori a quick hug and watch her skip happily into her house. Ooh, we're not staying the night. Oh, God. Poems, poems, poems. <laughs> Subtitle of this game. My favorite store. I wonder what I should write about. I, I can't handle this anymore. It's starting to show more often now. I'm losing control. I want to keep calm, but he just won't notice me. Why won't he notice me? Senpai. I notice you, Monica. <laughs> <laughs> You're like reaching out your hand. Yeah. You're the one who's going to make me do this. I'm going to delete them, even if it kills me. Don't worry, they aren't real anyway. But I'm real. You're going to be mine. Why won't these voices get out of my head? I'm getting worse. I'm not myself anymore. I'm losing my ability to talk to you like this. This place is taking you away from me. I'm I'm sorry, Eric. Oh, God, is she really going to try to kill them? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Please don't succeed. <laughs> supposed to be happy right uh, it's a happy story totally at the end of it monica's gonna come through the tv and we're gonna live happily ever after if that helps you <laughs> <laughs> and that's why you're everything to me sayori i took you for granted for so long but now i realize how much you really care for me i've been so dense my whole life but you finally gave me a wake-up call i love you sayori i take sayori's hands in mine and smile back at her I'm talking to a cinnamon roll. <laughs> that has the name Sayori on it. It's got like a really crappy picture of her glued yeah. onto it. Her eyes are now filling up with tears. Her blue eyes are sparkling in the sunlight. Oh, Eric, everything used to be so hard, but nothing can take me away from you. Oh, no. no don't dude. say that. Your words used to feel like thorns poking my heart, but now they make me feel fuzzy. I'm poisoned. It feels nice. You say... Oh, man. My life, Eric. Well, she's gone. God, no. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> but I'm still terribly depressed. You didn't save me at all. I'm just telling you this so you won't worry about me anymore. Thanks. I'm actually dead. Oh, okay. You didn't save me in time. My corpse is still hanging lifelessly in my room. But you don't care, right? You only care about Natsuki, Yuri. Monica, it's okay, Eric. <laughs> Let me go, I saw Eric. That voice. <laughs> <laughs> it's just contradictory to this moment. <laughs> Get out of my head! Oh man, <laughs> come on! <laughs> oh, my eyes started tearing out trying to like squeeze my throat to make that more high pitch. <laughs> I wake up in a cold sweat. I start hyperventilating. That wasn't real, was it? It felt so real. None of this is real, idiot. Before I reflect on it anymore. Yeah, that's what Monica's trying to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I grab my phone and text Sayori immediately. Hey, are you dead? <laughs> Morning! Oh, Jesus Ew. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Told you I'm not dead. <laughs> oh, thank God, Sayori. I had a nightmare. Aw, poor Eric. Was it super scary? It's Mo Did Monica, like, take over her? Oh, I doubt it. She just has no idea what you're... The, everything's fine. Monica's just messing with your head now. It was kind of scary. I just need someone to talk to. Well, okay, Eric. I'll give you a big hug outside, okay? Phew! <laughs> I needed a hug. <laughs> I don't think it would have been a good idea to tell Sayori about the nightmare. No, you think? Yeah. <laughs> and even if I wanted to, I can't exactly remember the details anyway. I perform my usual morning routine and head downstairs. Oh, right! The poem for tonight. I didn't even write one. Laugh, lazy, loud, love, lucky. Luck is what I call it. I'm lucky that I found a place I can call home. I used to be dense. I belong on a fence. <laughs> now I'm no longer alone because you are all a part of my reality. I gotta say, I don't know anything about poems, but I know that sucked. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Phew. <laughs> I did it. It's not my best. 
In fact, that totally sucked. Yeah. But I'm really going to be late if I don't hurry. After I said that, I kind of felt bad for whoever made this mod. I was like, oh, I just kind of ripped on their poem. But they know. <laughs> <laughs> see? Everything's fine. Yeah. I see Sayori outside waiting for me. Sayori has been getting up on time recently. It's nice seeing her bright smile greet me every day. As I walk up to Sayori, she runs in and gives me a big hug. Now those bad dreams can't hurt you anymore. <laughs> I doubt that. <laughs> ah, thanks. It's nice to see you so happy, Sayori. Mm-hmm. I've been feeling much better recently. Hey, by the way, what took you so long? Oh, I uh, kind of forgot to write a poem for today, so I wrote one real quick. Eric, you got to get better about that, you know. This is the second time in a row. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know. You're embarrassing me. I take out my phone to check the time. Oh, jeez, we gotta go. We're gonna be late if we don't hurry. I grab Sayori's hand and run with her. We arrive at school just in time. I go through all of my classes, only thinking of the literature club. You should teach science. <laughs> Clubs. <laughs> <laughs> On the way to the club, I couldn't stop thinking about that nightmare I had. Clubs. <laughs> I don't even remember what it was about, but something keeps telling me it was important. I brush off these thoughts and hurry to the club. Bottle full of bub, mama. I got what you need if you're, if you're getting rubbed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I gotta write that down. That's a good poem. <laughs> as I arrive at the club, everything is as it always is. Natsuki is in the corner reading manga. Yuri is reading a book. Sayori is eating a snack. And Monica is... Wait, Monica isn't here. Again? Uh, Monica! Why does thinking of her remind me so much of that dream I had? Thinking about it only makes my head hurt. Well, I'm sure it's nothing. I'm worrying myself over nothing. Ha <laughs> ha, Monica opens the door. She seems very confident today. Oh, sorry I'm late again, everyone. I had some things to do. It's okay, Monica. You made it here. That's what matters. Natsuki and Yuri are so engrossed in their books, they don't say anything or even look up at all. Okay, everyone. We're all going to the pier to read our poems today. I see that everyone has their poems ready, so let's all go home and change into some more comfortable clothing. She shows up in lingerie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll go to each of your houses and pick you up. Sound good? We all nod and leave the club together. Oh my god, she's going to drive you off an overpass vanilla sky style. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Not awesome. <laughs> Sayori and I walk home together. She gives me a cheeky smile before turning around. I'll see you at the pier, Eric. Actually, you'll see me in the car. Yeah, she can't pick us both up. She's going to drive us one at a time. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wave as she goes inside her house. She has a bounce to her step. I like it. I enjoy watching it. Seeing how... Uh, seeing her happy... Whatever that said. <laughs> Warms my heart. Yeah. I go inside and prepare for the night. <laughs> I prepare for the night. <laughs> I am the night. A few hours go by... What to wear is not much of a choice. All I have are just t-shirts and jeans. I quickly throw something on and go outside. You don't even have a nice button-up? <laughs> As I come out, I see that Monica is already here to pick up Sayori and I. Natsuki and Yuri are already in the car as well. I've never seen Monica drive before. <laughs> <laughs> Sayori quickly runs outside and jumps in the car. She jumps go through the window. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, I see Sayori is eager to get going. Seems like it. Is there space in the back seat? Yeah! Well, if you can squeeze next to Yuri, that is. <laughs> Badass. <laughs> As I open the back door, I notice Yuri is taking up most of the seat with her big ass. <laughs> um, hey, Yuri, you're kind of... Uh, what's wrong, Eric? Am I in your way? A little, but it's okay. I'll squeeze in. Yeah, you will. <laughs> As I squeeze in next to Yuri, I notice she's struggling to move. We found ourselves in a pretty awkward uh, pos position. I can't help but blush a little bit. Why does Monica's car have to be so small? <laughs> it's one of those smart cars. <laughs> like a tiny little... <laughs> ah, I know what the problem is. Yuri's <laughs> butt is too big. <laughs> Sayori. Yuri turns away, blushing heavily. <laughs> okay, this car is way too small for all five of us and Yuri's butt. <laughs> I have a bike I can use to get there. We can just meet. I can hear Yuri sigh in relief. Hey, don't leave me here alone, Eric. I mean, you're with the other girls. <laughs> Come on, Sayori, you won't be left alone. You have all your friends right there. She's gonna kill us. <laughs> what? How about I text you until you get there? Sound good? Are you gonna text and bike? That seems dangerous. 
Fine, but promise me you won't stop texting me until I get there, okay? Okay, I may I'm crash. Clingy. <laughs> promise. Monica pulls out, and I watch the car drive away. I remember that I know a shortcut to the pier, so I decide to take it. I wonder if I can beat them there. <laughs> It's like a, I, it's like right across the street. They yeah. drove and it's right down the street. It's like the obstacle course at the end of Paperboy. <laughs> He's got a ramp over shit. Ferris Bueller. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I arrive at the pier and set my bike next to a nearby tree. I'm sure that won't get stolen. To my surprise, they still haven't shown up. <gasps> I pull out my phone and text Sayori for the first time. Oh my god! Didn't keep your promise. Hey, Sayori, are you guys on your way? I'm already here. <laughs> In winky your face. face. Almost. <laughs> Monica said we should stop at the store to get some snacks. Oh, all right. That sounds good. Can you buy me some candy? No. <laughs> sure, Eric, but promise me you'll keep texting me. Promise me you won't eat all the candy? <laughs> Sayori and I text back and forth, talking about poems, the literature club, and the other girls. <laughs> 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 Do you think Yuri's butt is cute? <laughs> <laughs> I finish refining the poem and look at my phone. Hmm. It's been 15 minutes since I got here. Where the hell are they? No. Sayori hasn't replied either. The last message she sent was, I can't wait to get there. Oh my god, no. I mean, it shouldn't take that long to stop at a convenience store. I don't really know what to do. And I look like an idiot standing around, so I take a seat on a bench and play on my phone. You weren't doing that already? 30 minutes go by. I don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> End the episode. <laughs> it's close. We are close to an episode, but not yet. Did they ditch me on a to go on a girl's night out? No, Sayori would have texted me, right? I'm getting really worried, so I call Sayori. Oh, God. No answer. I call again. Nothing. Shit. I try calling Natsuki. Why do you have all their numbers? Still nothing. I try Yuri and Monica. No one is picking up? I feel like I'm about to hyperventilate. It's not like Sayori to just ignore her phone like that. Not since... At this point, I'm panicking, so I just keep calling Sayori. I didn't care about blowing up her phone or being annoying. I just couldn't shake this feeling that something terrible has happened. That's when I hear it. Hey, what do we hear? I don't know. You're going to have to wait a week to find out. No! <laughs> <laughs> But we're going to stop recording. I'm yeah, sad. That's it. We also have to wait. <laughs> <laughs> Solidarity. Uh, come on. I actually had to throw up my hand to stop you from clicking. Because <laughs> I was like, that's, I'm waiting for the perfect moment to, to stop it. Got to give you the cliffhanger. I'm sure it'll be something great. I Did I call it? Did she murder them all? I had pr Probably. Oh, God. I mean... I mean, that can't be it, though. It's going to reset. It'll be, it'll reset. Everything's going to be fine. It'll reset, and everything will be fine, right? Yeah, everything will be, be great. Fine. And everything's going to be fine, because it's going to reset. It's never going to reach its climax. It's just over. The, we repeat the day over and it's over like again. It's like the exact opposite of me. I reach my climax, like, instantly. Mm -hmm.